this beautiful campus at Glen Cove is home for Webb students. An expert faculty, a board of trustees, including the leaders of the American maritime industry, and over 500 interested alumni complete the Webb family. The Institute was founded in 1889 by William H. Webb, a prominent shipbuilder of the Clipper ship era. Mr. Webb wanted to provide a free and complete education in the art, science, and profession of shipbuilding for interested and competent young men. From a modest beginning, Webb Institute has grown to be a fully accredited college authorized to grant Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees. Nonetheless, it has always adhered to the original ideal of a full four-year scholarship for every student. These scholarships are awarded through competitive examinations and include not only tuition, but room, board, books, and supplies. The administrator of the Institute is Rear Admiral Frederick E. Haberly, United States Navy, retired. From the time a young man enters Webb until he receives his degree, three main objectives are stressed. The development of gentlemen, the development of leaders, the development of the finest technicians in the fields of naval architecture and marine engineering. Integrity and character are fostered by Webb's unique honor system. Respect for the rights of others and enthusiasm as workers of a team flourish here. Every facet of personality is developed in a self-governing atmosphere of trust and accepted responsibility. A heavy course of study, the equivalent of almost five years of college work, is given under the supervision of an enthusiastic and inspired faculty. This produces graduates who have a sound engineering and scientific foundation, as well as a realization of their duties and responsibilities as members of their chosen profession. Web graduates are men men thoroughly prepared to serve their community and their nation as active citizens. The large classrooms in the main building are combination lecture and drafting rooms. Here we see a class in marine engineering. The professor is explaining a steam turbine power installation similar to the one each student will include in his own design. Before graduating, each webman prepares a set of plans for a complete merchant vessel. Classes are held in an informal atmosphere, and since groups are small, close contact between professor and student is established. As you see, each man has his own drawing table, which finds frequent use in the course of many extensive and interesting design projects. Before turning to the special study of ships, however, webmen are well grounded in the basic engineering sciences with a curriculum including chemistry, calculus, differential equations, and strength of materials. Lecture and discussion classes are often held in the comfortable student lounge. The downfall of Napoleon, or oh, one of Shakespeare's comedies, may be the topic. And you can be assured that debate will be lively. Then, too, on warmer days, the lawn provides a pleasant spot for learning. This class is especially interested in a detailed description of the application of nuclear power to ship propulsion. Naturally, a great deal of time is spent studying. 
Student rooms are large and comfortably furnished, providing a pleasant atmosphere for study as well as relaxation. Of course, each student adds his own personal touch to the furnishings and decorations. All necessary tools and materials are provided by the Institute. In addition to books and uh, drawing equipment for each person, visual aids and demonstration equipment are also available for group work. There are excellent laboratory facilities for work in marine and mechanical engineering, such as this elaborate tensile testing machine which is used in conjunction with the strength of materials course. Electrical engineering problems are also considered. A ship model testing tank, 94 feet long, one of the few in the United States, is housed in this building. Scale models of ships are designed, built, and tested by the students. Through their use, the performance of the full-sized vessels can be predicted with great accuracy. Classrooms, shops, laboratories, and other facilities are always available for student use and may be used for personal as well as academic projects. Learning is not confined to the lecture room and drawing board, although some of these fellows may never have seen a ship close up before coming to Webb, they are right at home now and in very familiar surroundings. Field trips to industrial plants and shipyards are a regular part of the program. These trips acquaint students with the problems, details, and the complexities of a modern industry. In the course of four years, Virtually every phase of shipbuilding is witnessed. picturesque and exciting events which the students attend is the launching of a new vessel, especially if, like this one, it has been built by an alumnus of Webb Institute, A.E. Luders of the class of 1899. This is truly a Webb launching, since the gracious sponsor is Mrs. Niedermeyer, wife of the head naval architect of the United States Navy Bureau of Ships, a member of the class of 1917. How smoothly it slides down the ways. The successful culmination of a project which can be traced back to Webb many years ago when the builder was a student there. Most launchings, whether they are of tankers, tugs, battleships, or minesweepers such as this one, are colorful and interesting. Valuable practical experience is also gained in the mechanical laboratory as well as during the annual winter work period. During the months of January through March, all of the students are employed in various industries. Freshmen learn welding, machining, and shipyard practice at the New York Naval Shipyard. These skills come in handy, too, when it comes to projects which utilize the splendid machine shop facilities to be found at Webb. Juniors and seniors find jobs in various engineering firms throughout the country. Work is sought in any industry or locality as long as it is interesting and complements his studies. The sophomores spend the winter aboard merchant ships working as engine cadets. 
This experience not only acquaints the student with the operation of a marine propulsion plant, but also gives him an opportunity to travel to various parts of the world, perhaps Europe, South America, or to Africa, on fine ships such as this one of the Farrell Line. The Webb cadets aboard her took a few days off for a trip to the foothills of mysterious Kilimanjaro. Needless to say, of all the practical work periods, this is the most anticipated and the best remembered. The spirit that is Webb extends beyond the classroom. Webb is a way of life developed to produce gentlemen and leaders of the highest caliber. Each student is a member of the student organization a completely self-governing body having charge of all student activities such as athletics, publications, social functions, and maintenance of school facilities. The honor system at Webb covers not only the unprofited examinations, as in many colleges, but also every phase of the student's life while at school. The spirit of the Honor Code is administered by the Honor Council, composed of two members from each class. When an entering freshman pledges to abide by the Honor Code, he not only assumes great responsibility, but he becomes an active participant in the benefits of student self-government. The student organization is the backbone of a diversified student life. Recreational activities at Webb are numerous. Sports are popular, and frequently, groups will spontaneously initiate some sort of contest. Interclass football and softball games run high in spirit. Basketball and tennis are played intercollegiately, and Webb boasts nearly 100% attendance at all home basketball games. The school maintains a large gymnasium and all-weather tennis courts. Webb students make good use of the Institute's location on Long Island Sound by taking an active interest in sailing. This handsome boathouse was erected by the boys themselves to accommodate their sailing equipment. The Webb Yacht Club is a member of the Intercollegiate Yacht Racing Association. The school maintains a fleet of dinghies which are used for racing, practice, and recreation. The Webb Racing Team has won such competitions as the Engineers Regatta, the Freshman Middle Atlantic Dinghy Championship, and the Greater New York Dinghy Championship. Sailing classes are held for beginners, and many who have never sailed before emerge as qualified skippers. Another indication of the spirit of fellowship that prevails through every activity at Webb. This is the auxiliary sloop, Bond Swallow, the pride of the Webb fleet. A gift to the Institute from a prominent yachtsman, Captain Paul Hammond. This sleek 40-footer is the scene of many an afternoon of excitement and pleasure. When there is need for relaxation, there is no better way of getting it than through a delightful sail on the sound and with such pleasant companions. Indoors, there is the ping-pong table and its hectic exercise. The bowling alleys and the student lounge find good use, too, especially for an occasional open house following a basketball game. Then again, a jam session often develops when you get a group together. After all these strange... 
strenuous activities from books to bond swallow, it's no small wonder that some enormous appetites develop. Food is close to the collegiate's heart, and the food at Webb is both nourishing and tasty. As you may have gathered, the waterfront is the center of many pleasant activities at Webb, and the sailing, swimming, and just plain relaxing all make for a good time. The annual beach party in the spring is a high point in a lively social schedule. The boys and their dates spend a busy afternoon in the water or in the sailing dinghies. Bond Swallow is handy, too. Although there are those who prefer the warm sun and some light conversation. When the picnic supper is almost ready, there are plenty of enthusiastic people online eager for the cooks to finish their job. Hot dogs, hamburgers, potato salad, baked beans. Mmm, the complete works. This species of mammal is called a chow hound. Dances, usually informal, are held frequently, and here the work together spirit of Webb predominates. It is quite evident that the gym will be alive tonight when the square dancers take the floor. In contrast, of all the social events held at Webb, the annual ring dance is probably most vividly remembered by all who attend. Each June, the members of the junior class receive their web rings at this beautiful dance. Climaxing the indoor social season, the students invite their favorite dates to this formal affair to spend a thoroughly enjoyable evening dancing to rhythmic music. Or just chatting whether it be over a glass of punch or seated in the main hall. Each year's graduation sends a new group of webmen into the many facets of industry. They leave instilled with the fine tradition of web, confident that they have been well prepared to meet the challenges of life. They have worked hard to meet the high standards of scholarship which web demands. They have learned to live together, sharing with each other the rich experience of college days. They have reaped the benefits of an active social life while gaining a high-ranking college education and at the same time living in a solid, character-building environment. The Webb Honor System, self-government, and curriculum combine to produce in the graduate a gentleman, a leader, and an engineer of the highest caliber. Yes, with the firm foundation built at Webb, graduates may well look to the future with hope and confidence. <laughs> 